We are 40 episodes into this career mode. That's crazy to think about, but we are here the 1st of January 2026. This could be an explosive episode. Of course, we pre-agreed to it, but we have sold Marcos Antonio to PSG. Just didn't fit in our system. A great player, but just not right for us. So that now means we have give or take 70 million pounds to spend in this window. A fair few players that are off contract at the end of this season that could leave on freeze that I'm gonna sort out now. Brendan Aronson, get him an extra year on the contract. Shackleton, we're gonna go for an extra year, I guess. Billy Gilmore, happy to keep him. Charlie Creswell, haven't played him too much, but he's still decently rated as a backup. Um. I'm going to keep Chesney. Let's see if he goes for a one year. It might be a zero. He's going to go for a one year. I'm happy with that. Rico Henry's been very good, but I don't think, yeah, I, was, I don't think it was going to allow us because we got him only in, in the opening window. The rest of these guys, though, I'm happy to see if they are able to find new clubs. Not that these guys here can find pre-contract deals, but Lewis Bate, we'll find out. We have received a transfer offer, though, for Jamie Shackleton, who we have just renewed his contract. It's from Brighton. We're going to reject that one. In terms of players I want to get out, Edmondson, I want to get a loan for Oakley. Jenkins, McGurk, these guys, I don't mind if we sell them. But I'm honestly debating what to do with the starting 11. We've been up and down this season. I'm thinking, honestly, I'm thinking a new starting goalkeeper. Krupp has been okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. We could go for like a 90 rated player that could change everything. But also, Krupp could get up to like an 86, 87 by the end of the season. So... I'm uncertain with that one. In the bench, we could go for a backup center half. I don't know. There's not really a load for us to do. This team's looking pretty good. So we'll see what comes through and really use the next few games as a barometer. So two transfer offers coming in here. One from Real Madrid for Christian Romero, which I'm going to reject. Inter Milan offering us 1.8 million pounds plus Romelu Lukaku for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. I can't do it, man. I love DCL. DCL, I'm kind of like... Sad that he got injured last year because he could have been a hero in this career mode. But first, lads, we have our opening game of the 2026 calendar year. We are at home. We are in the Premier League and we're looking to get ourselves into the top four as we face Watford. All right, taking a look at our starting 11 for this game. It is an extremely rotated game. Our last game against Man United was only a few days ago, so a lot of players tired. We've got a game against Luton Town in the FA Cup coming as well, though, so I could still get some of the big guys on there, even if they are a little bit tired. Now, for a look at Watford, they're not the toughest opposition in career mode, but we need, we need to be locked in still. Every game... Just got to take it on its merits. Got to get three points and continue the good runner form we have been on. Who do they have up top? They got Cooter up top. So it's a moderately decent side. Or he on the bench. Get it through. Oh, it's brilliantly played in behind there. Jack Grealish putting it in. Alvarez kicks it straight into the bloody defender's back. What am I doing there? Well read though from Max Kilman. Shackleton driving through. Going here. Laying it. Lamer. Oh, that is brilliant football. We are locked in early on here. We almost score with Alvarez, and then we go straight back up and get ourselves the lead. Conrad Lehmann, is that his first goal he scored as a Leeds United player? That was put on an absolute platter. Need to defend here, lads. We've got the lead. We need to hold on to it, though. They switch it there. They're passing it brilliantly. It's fallen right to them, and Krupa makes an awesome save. Corner for Watford. Corner for Watford Football Club. Get it away. Nah. Oh my God. Good tackle there from Max Kilman. Bloody cruncher. Win it, Kilman. He's having a bell to Maximilian. Old fella, Max. Going to Calvert Lewin here. Who's going to turn? Calvert Lewin. That's a terrible. That's a what a touch. Alvarez. Basuma. Basuma blocked. Where's the ball? This game's been chaos, man. Calvert Lewin. Trying to turn. Calvert Lewin. Save. Got to defend. Oh, good stuff, Basuma, but it's come right back to them. Dominic's queen. What? What is that save? What is that save? What is that animation? My brain just like turned off. I was trying to talk and it sounded like I was having a stroke. And they have just scored a goal that makes Krupa look like he's had a stroke. That is frustrating. I had to defend somebody. They play it through. Oh my God. How can he make diving saves that are just like he's reading the play, yet we can see those ones? That is frustrating. All right, corner for Watford here. It's whipped in. Get it away, Rico. No, it's not getting it away, and we're falling over each other. 
Oh my god, how has that one fallen to them and how they put it over? This game is broken. Got to defend. Nah, they've got the shot and they've scored! Oh my god! Where has this come from? Watford are crushing us right now. Dominique, Dominguez Quinoa is destroying us. All right, time for a couple of big dogs to come back on. We're bringing on Brahim and Vlahovic for the last 20 minutes. We need to wake up. Come on, Alvarez. I see Rafinha. Rafinha, please. Oh, it's a tough angle to begin with, but that would have been awesome. Bruh, what is going on? What is going on? I can't get the ball off them, man. This second half has been so frustrating. Barcelona turning into prime. Well, yeah, Watford turning into prime Barcelona. And we're going to lose to Watford. That is not the start of the year we needed. This game was a tale of two halves. We could have been 4-0 up at halftime. And instead we lose 2-1. I have no answers. Transfer offer to somebody I'm very open to selling. And that is Jack Jenkins. He's already had two offers that he rejected personally. Let's see if he wants to go to Italy this time. DCL, it's another offer for him. It is from Roma, and it's another offer I am going to reject. Ooh, this is a big one to make. Benjamin Swift, Montpellier have come in here with a 14.2 million pound offer for our wonder kid. Now, for that type of price, it's not worth selling him. He is an absolute machine. But you know what? Oh, I'm tempted to loan list him. But I also feel like if we're going to be going for a Champions League, hopefully, potentially this season, we could use him later in the season. Honestly, what I'm going to do is I am going to loan list him. And if we need to recall him, then we can recall him. But whilst we don't necessarily need him in many games, let's go and see if we can get him some game time somewhere else. And there we go, lads. It seems like he didn't want to move to Portugal or another country. Jack Jenkins wanted Italy, so he's got Italy. <laughs> Just like real life, Tottenham want the Suma. But I do not want to sell Basuma, rejecting that one. You guys might be looking at me like I am an absolute mug right now, asking why would you bother playing this game? I want to go on an FA Cup run. We have been dreadful, dreadful in every domestic cup this entire career mode. We've got Luton Town at home. I need a confidence booster on the park after that Watford game. And also when you simulate home games... It feels like that you never get the results. Like, you always lose home games, which makes no sense. So I want to play this game right now. So here is our starting 11. As you can see, very, very rotated. But a fair few of our starters in the side. We've got Phillips in there. We've got Calvert-Lewin in there. We're going to bring Romero back into the starting lineup. But it's a decent team. Luton Town almost got promoted to the Premier League in real life. And they have an okay side, to be honest. There's a few names I recognize in there. They've got Reese Burke. They've got James Bree. Shea in there. A few names on the bench as well. But it is a team that we should be beating. Jesus. They just took out their own player. Oh, my God. Good ball over the top. Get it through to DCL. I don't know if he's on side. He's going to hold it up brilliantly. Go on here to Luca Romero. We got lucky there, but now we've got DCL in behind. DCL is going to give us the lead here against Luton Town. I've got to say, though, it is not a deserved lead. We have been playing pathetically. Luton Town have come out of the gates absolutely firing, but we get a very nice counter-attacking goal. Cornick going here to Adebayo. Going there to that corner guy again who forces a save out of Chesney. On the attack. Good defense from Phillips. Could see that one coming a mile away though. Come on, do we have time for something on the counter attack here? Down the line, it's a nice ball to Aronson. Look at the numbers coming forward. I see you, Swift. I see you, Swift. Oh, save. Calvert-Lewin's going to get the tap in though. Dominic Calvert-Lewin has himself a brace right on the stroke of halftime. Get that one out wide. Nicely done. Shackleton going to softly go here to Benjamin Swift. Swift going to DCL, who's on a hat trick, using his body brilliantly and playing that one to Luca Romero. Luca Romero lost the angle, shoots it and scores it. Oh, we just hold the ball up, send the Luton Town defender off to the shops, coming back with milk, and there we go. Luca Romero is going to add a third goal to this scoreline, and that was an awesome goal from him, I swear. I kind of feel bad for him, like... Every time he's played in this career mode, he has been phenomenal. We are going to make a substitution here, though, lads. It is going to be Brendan Aronson coming off. And Oakley, the Youth Academy kid, is coming off the bench for what I believe is his debut. Campbell, ball being played around. I see the run being made. Get rid of it. Come on, counterattacking time. Good stuff there. I saw the run of Swift. We're going to hold it up, though. 
Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. You could see there was other options running through. I hold down Y and push it out there. And the game's automatically like, no, let's give it to the bloke that's fucking five meters offside. Dickhead. Go to defend. Addy. Going under. And they forced the save out of Chesney. I really want to keep a clean sheet in this game. Oh, well pressured. Well pressured. Going here to Oakley on his debut. He's going to lay it through to Swift. Swift is in behind. Swift. Oh, it's a good bit of defensive pressure. I probably should have taken it a shot earlier or a step earlier. There we go, lads. We're into the next round of the FA Cup. It's a bit of a confidence booster, although we didn't really play our best style of football. A win is a win. Transfer offer for, from Fiorentina for Dale Fry and 1.45 million pounds for Maximilian Kilman. Get out of here with that bullshit. I think I want to bolster the reserve center back role. We saw that if something happens, we only really have Creswell behind Maximilian Kilman. Champions League, there's going to be a lot of fixtures. We want to go deep in the Prem, deep in the FA Cup. I think it is a sensible decision to bring back Gianluca Mancini to the club. We can get him on a decent fee. If we can get him for £32.7 million, that would be absolutely phenomenal. It hurt my soul when we sold him back a few seasons ago. Let's see if we can make it happen, lads. I think that would be a nice little moment for the rebuild and for the career mode. £32.4 million. Please, Brendan. They want Kilman. You're not getting Kilman. You're not getting Kilman. The whole reason I want to bring Mancini back is so we have another option alongside Maximilian Kilman. 32.6. They're gonna say 45.8. Alright, let's get into the uh let's get into the meat and veggies of this deal. Let's go 36.8. I don't want to overpay too much because I still want to be able to do more business in this window. They say 39. Yeah, all right, let's take that. 39 million pounds for Gianluca Mancini. Let's go and get the contract sorted. Hopefully he actually wants to come back to the club though. That would be, uh, that'd be bad if he said no. Get in there, fellas, on the eve of our massive Premier League game away at Arsenal. We have got Gianluca Mancini back in the white of Leeds United. It's big, it's bloody good to have you back, matey. I mean, squad are all important. I, sorry, mate, you're not gonna be important, but you're gonna be on the bench every game. At least that's a start. Very happy to see this though, lads. It just, he was an awesome player for us when he, in his first spell, and I'm hopeful he can be an awesome player again. Transfer offer here for Basuma as well. It's from Leverkusen, but again, I mean, it her into a decent player, but we, the last thing we need right now is more attacking midfielders. But fellas, that is where we are going to conclude today's episode. Halfway through the January transfer window, a big game against Arsenal coming up to start next episode. I will see you for that one on Monday. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.